Welcome back. One yard is not a lot in football, but for this football story, one yard was all that was needed to make a local Washington State fan through the roof excited. Crem 2's Karthik Venkatraman tells us about the neat surprise Bev Moser got from Spokane of the other day that she won't soon forget. I love football, and so I just, you know, went to the games and the activities before the games and everything were all exciting for a freshman. Bev Moser's fandom of Cougars football started her freshman year at Washington State 68 years ago. If it's game day in Pullman, she's there. I drive down or have the last few years by myself and come home at night. <laughs> in fact, after, after the Apple Cup this last year, mm -hmm. I came home in the snowstorm. Did you? So you went to the Apple Cup last oh, yeah. year. How, how was that? That's, that was crazy. I mean, it was fine weather and then all of a sudden you got a huge snowstorm, right? right? And the, the score didn't end up right. <laughs> this 86-year-old has been a season ticket holder for more than 50 years. She'll talk Cougs football anytime, anywhere, with anyone. <laughs> Even to her landscaper, Brandon Arnold, who is a Cougs alum too. Every time we see each other now, we talk about uh, football and, and WSU. So then we just got talking, and from then on, it's just been go Cougs. That Cougs bond is how Arnold got the idea to surprise Moser a couple of days ago while he was working on her yard. Told her to come out, and if she would take my arm, if she could just close her eyes, I had a little surprise for her. I couldn't think of anything that he was surprising me with. Uh-huh. And then you come out here, and then where does he open your eyes? Well, I was standing over there, uh -huh. and he turned me around, and I opened my eyes to look at this. <laughs> what, what was your first impression? I mean, you see this on your lawn, and what, what was your thoughts? I, I didn't know what to think. <laughs> <laughs> I had come across this uh, WSU logo and, um, you know, thought what a great person, uh, Coog, to do, uh, to put this stencil and, and this logo in her yard. So he did this while you were at home, or? Oh yeah, I was home. <laughs> you didn't even notice him once out here doing this? Because <laughs> I'd already come out just a little while before, you know, to look at everything and see it met my satisfaction and, and went back in the house. And I told him to knock on the door when he was done. And so he came and knocked on the door and I said, how much do I owe you? And he says, come out here, I've got a surprise for you. What does it mean for you to kind of, you know, bring a smile on somebody's face like that? Oh, it, it, it it makes it all worth it. I mean, if I, you know, obviously want to do a good job, quality work with, with what I'm doing for somebody, but if I can go that little bit of extra and surprise them or, um, you know, just brings a little bit of joy and, and uh, yeah. I can imagine you're very happy to just kind of see this. I mean, something you've cared about sure. for so long, right? Always like the Goku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was special. I was glad that Brandon did it for me. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Karthik Venkatraman, Krem 2 Sports. We found this story on Twitter from Moser's grandson's account. He had posted a picture of Moser with the logo. It caught enough traction to where Cougs head coach Mike Leach retweeted it. When Moser found out about that, she was pretty ecstatic. That is so I sweet. I believe it. <laughs> yep, I couldn't believe it. He has better things to do than that, <laughs> I hope, and he'll prove that Saturday. <laughs> oh, no, pre I, no pressure, no my pressure, 